Good day, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, all of those good things. Let me turn off this voice recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just uh, looking at an email that I received. There is a young lady whom she did a consult. She had her husband. They were in a situation where they had no funds. They were trying to do some things. And, well, I did the consult with them, talked to them about the tax credits and all of that stuff, and told them that, you know, there are, there are no magic pills. I cannot make money appear out of thin air. I'm not a bank. You are a bank! Shut up! You know what I'm talking about. Well, you said you wasn't a bank, and I knew you was a... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the person emailed me last evening and confirmed that they were able to receive their over $1 billion in tax credits. All they did was the forms, the way they needed to be done. You see, the problem is many of you were taught in school to fill out every line. Don't leave any line blank. Put N-A or put something there. That's not how taxes are done. If the line doesn't apply, you just put a zero. It, it already has it there. You don't have to add anything. Every one of you are trying to look at every single line instead of recognizing what the tax forms, you just have to fill out the necessary lines. Y'all are not doing that, and so you're not getting anything done. Tax credits are marked with a negative, not a positive. So you have to put the negative integer. I can't tell you how to fill out your taxes. That's not my job. I've told you guys from day one that I am not the tax guy. I just know what you are capable of doing. Why? Because as I said before, the law is written on logic. The law is not written on what you think, how you feel. You know, many of you are trying to do too much instead of just recognizing the nike theme just do it if you make a mistake write them and ask them what the error was what you all don't understand is government must tell you what your deficiencies are that, no 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 hold on some of them will ignore you and that's why you got to keep going up and keep going up and keep going up and speaking to supervisors until you reach that main office. And if you're doing taxes, say, excuse me, I'm a taxpayer. You don't get the right to ignore me. It is your duty to communicate with me. And so I asked you this question. You will answer my question definitively. And if you keep refusing, then I'm appealing your decision. Just as simple. With the IRS, they're an administrative agency, so you can appeal whatever decision they make. Now, some of you are receiving letters from the IRS. Oh, by the way, for the next couple of years, any taxes she owes will be offset against the billion dollars. Okay, that's how that works. And if you pay attention, knew how to create a bond, she has tax credits. Tax credits are dollar for dollar. Go back and look at... Look. Sorry, y'all hear that? That's my alarm. 5, 10 in the morning. That's my alarm. You can't sleep through that. I don't care who you is. So that's my alarm letting me know that's the second time it was supposed to go off. I've been up since 4. No, I've been up since a little bit after 3. Uh, but the day before, I was up for over 24 hours, so yay! I was able to get seven hours of sleep, which is okay, because once my mind, once you get started, once my mind gets going, there ain't no slowing it down. That's why I was up, because I'm a um, thinker. And so once my mind gets started, there ain't no slowing it down. I'm, somebody was telling me when they watched the last couple of videos that I was on fire. All I'm doing is giving you guys information. That's it. I'm not here to do any work for you. So stop asking. You run into a problem, don't come to me. I'm not the reason for your problem. You run into a problem, go to the people who you ran into the problem with and appeal their decision. Ask them the question first. I have people literally 
calling me and asking me questions. And so I mean, I literally have to ask them, okay, so why are you calling me? Well, because I was wondering, do I put this or do I put that? Well, let me ask you a question. What do you put? Well, I'm supposed to put, then, then do it. That's the conversations I've been having lately. They're calling me just to get confirmation. Don't be calling me for no stupid mother confirmation. That's not my job. I'm not here to confirm your work. Stop second guessing yourself and do the work. Sorry. There are a lot of people out there that want to second guess every single thing they do. Every single thing. Interesting, huh? Why do you need to second guess your work? Let me minimize this. I got to have something else besides this in my background. And let's minimize that too. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stop second guessing yourselves. Just do it. Now, let's get back to talking about finances, shall we? The joint resolution which says every debt is repaid dollar for dollar. You all are not understanding it, I can tell, because you haven't read the March 9, 1933 Act, which says that just all you have to do is go to the March 9, 1933 Act. Give me a second. I'll be right back. And just watch this. I'm going to do a control F. I could literally do it by going here, but I was going to do a shortcut, and I'm going to do PAR, P-A-R. Well, look at here. Paragraph. That's not the par I want. That's just one par. Mama, he's 15 under par. There's a lot of paragraphs and parts. Well, I don't want them paragraphs. <gasps> there is par. Watch this. Shall be receivable at par. Equal value, dollar for dollar. What shall be receivable at par? Such notes shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve. Did you know that when you did your mortgage for your home and the bank, Federal Reserve Board, Board of Governors, when it, well, you've been approved. When you hear that you've been approved, that is 12 U.S.C. 414. Go back and read 414. You were supposed to receive Federal Reserve notes. So why are you paying on that mortgage? Your promissory note was at par for the amount of Federal Reserve notes, don't believe me? Go and look at 412. It says at no time, in no event, shall the amount of your tender of payment, your promissory note, be less than the amount of Federal Reserve notes because it's at par. Well, it says 90% right there. Don't you dare believe, no, 90%. That's why you pay 10% down. It's at par, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the responsibility of the Federal Reserve Bank. That's why the Board of Governors must issue you Federal Reserve notes. But you sign those papers at closing where you give the bank the responsibility of collecting that money for you on your behalf. And what happens? Well, the paperwork you sign gives them irrevocable, irrevocable indemnity. So you can't even sue them when they don't document the monies. So what do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start doing this for our clients. It's taking a little while. There are a lot of people want us to speed things up. You cannot speed this up. I, I really want to try to speed things up. I really do, but you can't because we have to document. That's why we send, we've sent out 20 different documents to these morons and we got one more to send out. And then that's it. Then it's time to go to court. We will be doing a mass action suit against the Federal Reserve very soon. Remember, that's why I sent the Federal Reserve the documentation say, hey, 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 Federal Reserve, this is a FOIA request. Need you to tell me how to do this because the law says I can do this. And they say they don't have no guidelines. Y'all don't have no guidelines. Well, it says right here, Federal Reserve. Hold on, homie. Subject to such limitations, restrictions, and regulations as prescribed by the board, you know, any Federal Reserve Bank, that's me, homie, uh, may make advancements to any individual. 
Well, I can go to any Federal Reserve Bank and say, I, I want a loan. And it says they're supposed to do an advancement to me. Well, they ain't been doing no advancement to me. They've been doing it to themselves. Come on and do it. Do it. And do it to your status. Oh, I'm sorry. Not that whatever it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired of playing games with these idiots. You all should be tired of playing games with them as well. Stop letting them control you as if you don't have the right to speak up, as if you don't have the right to access your account, as if, now don't, don't ask about no TDA account. You don't want to, the TDA ain't your focus. Okay, for instance, the young lady who did the tax credits, who, all she has to do is create a bond and back her bond with her credits. Why? Because her tax credits are at par with Federal Reserve notes or any other legal tender. It is dollar for dollar. It is U.S. dollars. Wait, y'all don't understand what U.S. dollar? No. Y'all, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you. It says, pay attention, because dollar for dollar is your best friend. Now, this is the Gold Repeal Act. Y'all see that right there? Require a payment in a gold or a particular kind of coin or currency or an amount of money of the United States measured thereby. Every obligation heretofore and hereafter incurred, whether or not such a provision is contained in or made with respects thereto, shall be discharged upon payment the moment you discharge it dollar for dollar. And any such coin or currency, which is at the time legal tender. So your tax credits are legal tender. Shh! Don't tell nobody! Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you something. Now, although, see, public policy, and then they say HDR 192, let's do that now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that now because the people who put this together, they, they almost knew what they were doing. So I'm going to get rid of this HDR 192 stuff. That, that junk got to go. That shouldn't even have been there. I don't even know what they were thinking when they put this here. Keep telling people, cut. See, joint resolution. Not no house joint resolution. And see, they keep doing it. This It has nothing to do with house joint resolution. It is joint resolution, but they know it. They just got so stuck on the House bill that they did not pay attention. Pay attention! They did not pay attention to the actual wording of the clause. It was called Joint Resolution, June 5th, 1933. The Senate had its joint resolution. And see, I know they keep putting HDR 192, and that junk don't need to be there. Let's get rid of that. I got to do the same thing before. And I'll go back through this document and I'll delete all that HDR stupidity. Look, it is joint resolution. Go back and look at it. It is joint resolution, not no House joint resolution. Stop calling it House joint resolution and see if you do not get some more act right. Ladies and gentlemen, you keep telling them what is not the law. And they going to keep getting technical. You want to take, just like I did, just literally take what I just did and just call it joint resolution. This is the joint resolution to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause. June 5th, 1933, 73rd Congress, first session. Joint resolution to ensure the value of the coins and currency in the United States. They didn't get rid of the gold, ladies and gentlemen. They just redefined what gold was. There was no law against them saying what gold was. Go ahead. There's no constitutional amendment saying that they don't have the right to define or determine what gold is. They gave themselves the right to regulate commerce. Interesting, huh? It's an interesting world. So, we do hope you guys gain something from this. 5.20 in the morning. I got to get ready. I have an appointment this morning that I have to be ready for. Oh, no, I don't have to be ready until 6.45, which is an hour and 15 minutes. 
How, I'm just going to get ready, if that's okay with you. Y'all take care. Just remember, if you're taking care of something, do it the right way. Don't do it your way. Usher did it his way. Look at where he is right now. I'm sorry. I mean, I like Usher. Usher, Usher, he all right. Usher, uh, ludicrous. Usher, uh, y'all take care. We gone, because we out of here. <laughs>